DIY with Nadia. On today's video, we are doing back to school DIYs. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. To make my sign, I will be using this Farm Fresh sign from the Dollar Tree. And the first thing I do is I take my tags off and then I take lightweight speckling from the Dollar Tree and fill in the little holes on the top. Next, I'm going to grab some brown acrylic paint and just paint the little stub on top of the apple in brown. To start off, I'm going to use a medium red and I'm going to give my apple about three coats of that red paint. Throughout this video, I will be using all acrylic paints. To give the apple dimension, I will be using a lighter red and a darker red. So the darker red goes on the outside edges of the apple and then a little bit throughout on the inside. Apples are not flat, they're dimensional, so we need to show the shadows of the apple by the colors that we use. The lighter red goes throughout the inside of the apple. Here I'm just drying my apple in between the layers and just going back with the lighter and the darker colors until I get them the way that I want. To spell out the teacher's name, I will be using these letters from the Dollar Tree and I'm painting them white. I ended up giving three coats to each letter. Other options to write the teacher's name would be stenciling or using stickers the color that you need, maybe painting freehand or even using a Cricut. That part is up to you guys. I decided to go a little cartoonish with my apple. I grabbed some brown added black to get it really, really dark and then I'm making the little stump look three dimensional. Now I'm just grabbing some white paint and I'm just going to streak outside of the apple a little bit kind of making it look like my apple is so shiny that it's glaring off to color in the leaf i just chose two green shades i'm taking the darker of the two coloring the leaf in and then i'm adding a little bit of black to darken that color and to do those little veins inside the leaf then when that's all dried, I'm taking the lighter color and just lightly dusting it throughout the leaf to kind of soften it up. And then I'm just grabbing some white and just streaking it on both sides of the leaf to make it look like it's glistening. Now it's time to put the letters on. Because both Miss and Zoe are three letter words, I decided to take the word Zoe and stretch it out on the bottom. And the word Miss is going to be more squished together. I just did that for aesthetics. I thought it would look a little nicer. Now I'm just taking a little paint marker and putting a little dot after mist. Now I decided to put a shabby little bow on. So I just grabbed some red, white, and black ribbon. And from thickest to thinnest, I just layered them on one on top of the other and just tied it with a little bit of a jute cord. I decided to hot glue my little bow by the leaf. But I did try to make sure that it's kind of facing where you can see my little stump that I actually thought turned out really cute. Now I'm just grabbing some jute cord, attaching it to the back so that Miss Zoe can hang this somewhere in her classroom. This project is so easy but makes such a big statement. The first thing I did was just grab a tag and on the tag I wrote Miss Zoe. To decorate the tag I just went around and did dot and squiggle, dot and squiggle, dot and squiggle all the way around the border just to kind of make it pop a little bit. Now I'm simply grabbing a hurricane vase from the Dollar Tree, putting a rubber band around the vase, and then taking my pencils and just putting them behind the rubber band. Now that my vase is completely covered, I'm grabbing a double-sided tape and just putting it around the pencils where I want my ribbon to go. Now I'm attaching my ribbon to my double-sided tape and grabbing another piece of double-sided tape to bring both of the ribbon pieces together. At this point, you can remove the rubber band and if you want this to be a permanent hold, put some E6000 or hot glue at the bottom to unite the pencils with the vase. 
Now I'm just grabbing my jute cord, putting it around my white ribbon, then making a little bow and adding my little tag with Miss Zoe on it. For the flowers, I will be using these gorgeous magnolias. This video is also part of a challenge. This challenge is being hosted by Heidi Sambul DIY and I will link her channel down below along with the playlist. When you're done watching this video, just hit on that playlist and you can see all the other YouTube creators and what they have done for this challenge. Now let's get back to our video. For my apple jar, I'm going to start with giving my jar a simple layer of red paint. It could be whatever paint color you want. You can also do green. There are green apples out there. Just saying. After the first layer dries, I'm going to share a little technique that I use for the second layer. The second layer, I grab a sponge brush and I dab. I just dab, 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 dab. Here is why. You want to make sure you have a good solid layer of paint that's dry before you start making a kind of streaks because if you don't do this, you could probably strip that first layer away that's kind of thin and elegant as it is because it's attached to glass. So I dab and I dab generously. So after dabbing my whole jar, I give it plenty of time to dry because I don't go light on this layer. I go kind of heavy to make sure I have a nice solid coat. Now I'm just grabbing some leftover greenery from a previous project, grabbing two leaves and hot gluing them to the top of my jar. I wanted to color the, uh, the word ball uh, in white so it stands out and I'm using this kind of a makeup brush to lightly just go on top and I felt like it turned out a little bit sloppy so after I was done off screen I just grabbed the tiny tiny little brush and just colored in with a white little brush. I did not like this technique, but I thought I'd show you guys in case you wanted to try it. It just, I don't know, it turns out a little sloppy in my opinion. To complete the look, I'm just grabbing some jute cord, wrapping it around the neck of my jar a few times and making a simple little bow. To start on my pencil jar, I will be taping off the bottom of the jar about one and a half inch and then I will be painting it in a pink shade. It took three layers of the pink to cover completely. Now I'm just removing the painter's tape and without touching the pink, I'm painting my jar yellow. We are going to put something else between the yellow and the pink so it's okay to just color as is. Don't forget to leave off half inch before the neck of the bottle because we are going to put another color in between the gray that I'm painting on the neck right now and the yellow. After my yellow and my gray have completely dried, I'm going in with a tan color and I'm doing about half an inch right underneath the neck of the jar. Now I'm using a very thin Sharpie to write NO2 and then going over it in a thicker one. This way I know for sure that it's how I want it because with the thicker one, once you do it, that's it. For that piece of metal that holds the eraser in place, I'm using a silver washi tape just going around the bottle beginning and ending in the back and I think it turned out cute. To complete this jar, I'm grabbing some jute cord, wrapping it around the neck of my jar and making a simple bow. Then I'm just going to fill it with some colored pencils. jar I'm going to give it a full coat of white paint and the first one I'm just painting up and down and then the second one I am going to dab all the way and give it a nice thick layer so it covers everything up. 
I'm just taking a thin sharpie making a rectangle and then I'm going to take a thicker sharpie and just make the lines in the middle a little stronger now I'm grabbing black paint and just dotting the jar all the way around making it look like little spots and where I feel like I went a little too heavy I'm just grabbing white and putting it over I thought I'd show you guys here is the notebook that I actually use for my DIY ideas and it's the same style that I'm going for with the jar to complete the jar once again I'm just grabbing that jute cord wrapping it around the neck of the jar and making a pretty little bow I hope you enjoyed these DIYs as much as I enjoyed making them. Let me know down below which one was your favorite and how you think I did. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.